Now, our top story at this moment, Al Muhammadiyah, the student wing of Pakistan-based terror outfit Lashkar-e Toiba, has been designated as a terrorist organization by the United States. Simultaneously, the White House has also put sanctions on its top two leaders, aiming that the action will not just stop the terror activities, but also disrupt their financial network. LET was designated as a terrorist organization by the United States in December 2001. Since then, the organization has repeatedly challenged sorry, changed its name and created fronts in an effort to avoid sanctions, said the State Department. Now, we are being joined by our senior correspondent, Raghavendra Rao, on this um, at the moment. So, Raghavendra, tell us, what is the significance of this latest move? Um, you know, how are the Indian authorities looking at this? Uh, Jessica, although there is no official reaction from the Indian authorities as yet, but the move is certainly being viewed as a shot in the arm for uh, India against its uh, fight against the, uh, in its fight against the Lashkar-e Taiba. The Lashkar-e Taiba, remember, has been at the forefront of exporting terror into India. The most ghastly attack being the 26/11 Mumbai terror strikes uh, that killed over 100 people. So uh, the the sense in the Indian security establishment is that this is a very positive development and it will go a long way in strengthening India's case uh, against the LAT further. And what does this banning really entail, Raghavendra? Uh, essentially, uh, uh, by, by putting this uh, uh, group, the al Muhammadiyah students, in the, in the banning list, the American government, the U.S. government has ensured that, you know, uh, uh, no, uh, no kind of, uh, you know, it, it basically prohibits giving any material support uh, to, to this organization from the American soil. Uh, or, I mean, it also prohibits uh, anybody on the American soil from engaging into any kind of transactions with this organization. This essentially will choke the funding uh, that this organization, this front organization of the LET may have been getting uh, from the foreign sources. Well, thank you for joining us on that, Raghavendra.